Hey everybody, it's William Padilla Brown from Mycosymbiotics coming at you with the second harvest from our commercial cordyceps militaris grow here in New Cumberland, Pennsylvania. And as you can see, I'm having a lot of success. As I've been talking about for the past year, I've been working on getting these into a commercial style of cultivation. The jar method wasn't working out for me. I was getting sporadic fruitings. The mushrooms weren't growing out the way that I needed them to. So for this past year, I've been developing better techniques for uh, cultivating these mushrooms commercially. And I have included all that information in the Cordyceps Cultivation Handbook, which I have released for pre-order. So I'll drop the link down below. It's on Etsy. You can search cult uh, Cordyceps Cultivation Handbook and you'll find uh, the handbook for pre-order. It'll be available. Uh, to ship out in the first couple weeks of January. So lots of information on the history of these mushrooms. I even got some cool recipes. I'm going to be uh, doing a cordyceps soup with some of these fresh mushrooms here very soon. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of respect for this. These mushrooms, I have a lot of reverence for these mushrooms as I wouldn't have been able to find this many cordyceps mushrooms if in the wild. It would take me a whole summer uh, to even find near this many cordyceps mushrooms if I was out in the wild. So I have a lot of reverence for it. And uh, I take that into account whenever I utilize it. In Thailand, uh, they recommend healthy people using about one gram per day. And uh, from my estimates and calculations, um, I'm thinking a gram of local organic cordyceps will go for anywhere from two to four dollars. Uh, so very valuable product, high value product. So it's one of the reasons why I've been focused on developing techniques for farming these mushrooms so that I can uh, help to initiate cordyceps micro farms here in North America. And I say micro farms because these mushrooms can be easily cultivated. There is a higher demand for local products now in North America and there will be moving forward. So it's important that we get uh, small businesses and uh, small farmers growing these mushrooms for their community. Um, although there will be a need for uh, large production. So uh, everything will work its way out. Um, and as I said, there's gonna be lots of information in that uh, handbook. So. You can go ahead and pre-order that and uh, get yourself growing. And I'll be releasing more dates for the Cordyceps Cultivation course uh, courses for next year. There's one Cordyceps Cultivation course uh, scheduled for March right now, and it is at an all-time low price. Uh, the Cordyceps Cultivation courses that I'll be offering will never be uh, at this low of a price again. So I'm trying to get people excited and initiate these micro farms. So just like I said, William Padilla Brown coming at you uh, here in New Cumberland, Pennsylvania, growing the Cordyceps Militaris mushroom. This is. Uh, locally sourced cordyceps cult, uh, culture uh, from our local forest here in Pennsylvania. So Appalachian cordyceps uh, militaris mushroom in culture here. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, share it on Facebook, Twitter, any of your favorite mushroom blogs, permaculture blogs, anything like that other than that's William Padilla Brown. And I hope you have a happy holiday, happy new year.